What's going on? What's going on? Tune in, everybody. Tune in. First of all, I want to say thank you guys for watching. I want to say I really appreciate you taking time out your busy schedule. Hopefully, the information that I've been giving you and the information that I'm going to give you is helpful and useful to you. If it has been, please leave it in the comment section below. Or if you have some strategies or some information you'd like to share, leave that in the comments below as well. Again, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Tell a friend, tell a family member, a co-worker, because uh, this could be a help to somebody else. And once you learn these things, you could pass it on to your children or to somebody who's in the credit uh, funding or rebuilding stage. So I wanted to get that out. And we have something good that I want to share with you today. Um, a lot of people are in this stage and are struggling. I'm just going to talk about uh, how to rebuild your credit for free. And without further ado, let's, let's just dive and get right into it. There are a lot of options that you could take um, to repair your credit. It's just somewhat, it can be challenging and hard to find those options. Many people end up with bad relationships when they're, um, as far as that's how their credit gets bad because they end up in bad relationships with credit. But credit is a behavior, just like a lot of things, like you develop a behavior um, by doing things repetitiously over a course of time. And sometimes you have to break those bad behaviors. And what I'm gonna talk about is you need to change your input. You need to change what it, how you think about credit. And changing your input, what that means is you need to change your beliefs, your thoughts, your actions, and your habits, and your destiny. So that means you need to change how you plan to use it and how you treat it. Now I'm gonna talk about two main specific things um, that can help you um, change your thoughts, your behavior, and how you feel and think about credit, some people. Credit is a behavior, as I stated before. It's not evil. Credit is magical. And if used in the right way, it could be life-changing or it could hurt. What I mean by magical is like it's, it's, a, it's a formula to credit. Just, just like people have formulas when baking cakes. You know, you add this, you add that, and you add this. So over a course of time, you learn that formula and you become good at it. So and it becomes behavioral. And that's the same thing that you need to do and how you need to treat your credit. Once you learn the formula, paying on time, um, not getting a lot of inquiries, you'll know how to treat your credit and you'll look at it different. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about rebuilding. Now, when you're in the rebuilding stage, it just takes a little time. It could be three months, six months, and it could be a year. So, I mean, don't be in a rush, just take your time. And there's a lot of people out here that's saying that they could do it in uh, three days or five days, but question that because that could be a little sketchy and it could be a red flag, but not saying it can't be done or anything like that because it, it can be done with some work. You just buckle down and put the work in just like you do with anything else. But if you are working with somebody, just making sure you, you work with somebody that's uh, trustworthy and uh, that you could trust because you don't want your credit to end up worse than it already is or could be. So even if your credit repair gets done, you still need to have positive accounts, even when you're in a credit repair um, building stage. So there's still things that you could do. You could still put positive um, accounts on your uh, credit. You could still um, build age and you could still build uh, credit history. So don't just let it sit there and lay it doormat. Um, you could still be building um, while they're wiping things out and then they're, and they're doing other stuff because even though you can end up or wind up with a blank account, but a blank account is better than uh, 
a terrible uh, negative account. So practice on building your credit while you're in the uh, rebuilding stage or the rebuilding, yeah. So you can still um, get, I, I'm sorry, you can still have a 750 uh, credit score even if the repair is not done. If you have enough positive accounts, you can still have a high credit score. And how how is that possible? Because they have something that they call the, the look back period. Meaning if you had uh, an account on your credit and you were good for 24 months, and then after that 24 months, you had uh, some, some late payments or some missed payments. Basically, you, um, you have to uh, try to get those accounts that were negative from the, the day it was negative up to all the way up to now, which means you wanna try um, as, as well as possible to keep uh, the good standards from up to the 24 months. Because a lot of people believe and they say, um, that they have to wait seven years, but you actually don't have to wait seven years. And then there's another factor, which is called the FICO factor. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. If you haven't, you can Google it. And what that is, it's like uh, their action codes. So say you fill out for something and you get denied and they send you a letter in the mail and it tells you why you're denied. And that's why a lot of people don't can't get that 850 credit score it's not because actually what they say on there is just because they might need no it is because of something that they say on there but that information is coming from actually FICO the Experian Equifax and TransUnion it's not coming from the actual bank but those things you may need to work on it may say like uh, high utilization or um, too many accounts, too many new accounts, or not enough credit history. So those are some of the things you want to work on as well when you're in the rebuilding stage. So the FICO factors is, is a big role and it can tell you things that you need to work on when um, you're, you're trying to repair your credit. So as I stated before, don't let it lay doormat. So I'm going to do some videos on some different type of cards that you could get uh, while you're working or someone else is working on repairing your credit. So if and when those things do get wiped out, that you'll still have some good things on there and your file just won't be blank. You'll just be able to move forward. And then a lot of people also think that Oh, I got one late on my credit file. They want to wipe the whole account off. And that that account may have like five years of uh, history or uh, 10 years of history. And that can actually hurt it more than help it. So keep in mind that you can still be in uh, the building stage while getting your credit repaired. And thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.